the mathematics is taught in almost like a algorithmic ritualistic religious way that is you lay down the thing this is how it goes then you accept because it works like any other science maths also has experimentation exploration okay making guesses and doing some more experiments observe the pattern try to come with a conjecture or a principle working principle and then you try to prove it in other sciences they try to verify by means of more experiments in mathematics you try to prove it but this process is never conveyed to the student so the real fun of discovering thinking on your own is missing in the standard curriculum student do not question the teacher says he is they believe that it ought to be right and he writes a proof so they believe that it must be correct they don't see why the teacher thought of such a proof or can it tamper with the proof can i modify the proof can i alter the proof or can i think of different proof or can i even try to disprove what you said that kind of thing is not there so it's mere acceptance almost like religious what we are looking at is what is going to be the culture of the classroom so that some actual learning is going to happen there and this is not in my opinion really settled by syllabi syllabi in many ways are irrelevant because whatever syllabus you put it doesn't matter unless the teaching has changed in a way so that it you know some that change in the syllabus actually makes some change in the classroom and to people's uh, learning we need a cultural change not just a curriculum change and we need a change where uh, teachers and students are provided uh, for us to come together and discuss and fix things together about the syllabus and be given the freedom to change things according to their circumstances from day one the first thing we say is that uh, classroom is not for notes taking okay and there will be lot of questions asked by the teacher and we also make sure everybody should think we go and individually ask them how we thought about okay do not be afraid of making mistakes okay anybody who learns anything new has to make mistakes so there is nothing wrong make mistakes learn slowly you will see that you will do better in daily college classes the teachers just not uh, let us think they themselves solve all the problems but here we have learned how to think ourselves that's the main thing we got the fun from mathematics what is missing in the colleges sadly in india i think most of the students are exposed to the spiral method they just learn they memorize and they they're done with it whereas at this level they would probably be exposed to a possibility there is something more to learning than actually getting grades or marks we we'll start with lot of examples right then we try to see do you observe a pattern using the pattern do you, can you make some conjecture can you say what should be the common working principle that means they are discovering some results on their own that something more important they never knew that they could do that they believe that only teachers know the result because it's laid down in the books we people have the ability to think but uh, it is rusted kind of rusted so uh, we are pressurized to think everybody has the ability but we we, we just keep on uh, mugging up and uh, we just understand things but we are not able to do it unless and until we uh, we reproduce it that is while teachers teach us we just keep on writing it but this concept was just think and don't write anything so that i found to be very interesting as well as brushing mind brushing Uh, what strikes me is that uh, unlike uh, some kind of conventional uh, mathematical training where the, uh, the lecturer lectures um, here uh, the student is made to pause and think about each part of the lecture 
and uh, that I believe uh, actually um, gives an opportunity to the student to understand mathematics better. So. Uh, it also try to kind of uh, train them in every aspect, not only in thinking aspect, then the communication aspects. Okay, then they should be able to write very clearly the way the mathematics mathematicians would like to see the proof. And finally, we ask encourage the students to give seminars so that they can face a large audience. There will be his own teachers sitting in the front. So he should come over to me stage fear and try to communicate well. So that way we try to uh, attend to all aspects of learning mathematics and doing mathematics. You see that? And do not write, you should be able to do on your own. There's a lot of diversity in the levels of the students to what they've been exposed and to how much their capability they've actually been tapped. So you can see some people are picking up very quickly, whereas there are others who have never seen it, and you have to encourage them to build up their confidence, to, be actu to actually make them believe that they can, they can learn, and this is probably the right platform for them to take off and learn mathematics. And it's possible that many of them will turn around here and actually take up mathematics or maybe some other science for a career. And with the selection also what we do is we try to give some kind of a priority to students who are coming from remote areas okay, who lack exposure to like uh, good teachers or good books or good peers because peers are also very important for one's personal growth for intellectual improvement. Yeah, I mean, I've never met so many diverse people in like uh, one place. I mean, even if if a camp, if we're 40 people, we're all from like nearly every different state in India. And we're all together all the time, 40 people. So we really get to interact with them and talk to them and understand their customs and traditions. And it's mostly a part about um, MTTS, like if, if it's 100%, 50% about maths and 50% is about interaction with other students. That is the most important part. <laughs> Whenever I go, I try to identify people with the same kind of commitment I have. They want to teach well and they want to bring up the mathematical scene in the country. And they are committed, willing to spend or sacrifice their one month's vacation, summer vacation. So I talk to them and express my uh, views about MPTS. And if they are sympathetic, we invite them. And there are people who are I mean, year after year, they come with me. For, uh, for example, Professor Santanu, who is a coordinator here, for 20 years he is with us, from the very inception of MTTS till today. And there are other people who have come for 15 years, 16 years, 10 years. Everybody continues to come. When I see, look at the 20 years, okay, the students have come to not just mathematics, they go to various fields. Okay, it is not only for professional mathematicians, the students who participate here, they have gone to software industries, gone to banking, gone to various places and they keep writing to us. And this training, they say that it's not just mathematics. They, they come through very, from various parts of the country, so they understand various cultures and the, the how different people think. So this is one of the reasons. Okay? In some way, I'm contributing to the development of the students, okay, the society. That keeps me going. In the last five years, our own MTTS participants, former participants, now who has become faculty members or research workers elsewhere, they also come and contribute to the teaching. That's a really very, very satisfying thing.